stands on golden sand and watches the ship that go sailing somewhere beyond the sea. She's there. Guys, there it shocked me a little bit. The trigger shocked me a little bit. Ah, oh, great, there's smoke coming out of the gun. Oh, that's 250 volts, let's go. That's not really if what you I wanna see. Fly like so doubling the voltage, which this thing can handle, the charger's meant to handle up to 24, and I built this to give it 12 with the kind of batteries that I have. Uh, it charges it a lot faster, but that little resistor gets very angry. It gets very hot. I think it started to like burn the hot glue that I used to secure it. Um, so smoke, that's why smoke was coming out of it earlier. I know hot glue isn't how you're meant to secure it, but the resistor was kind of an afterthought to keep that from burning up. Alright, it's gotten a little droopy, but it should still work just fine. And it works just fine, how about that? Oh, not up the other side. That's a shame. Now that's why it didn't go through. It hit the core, like, dead center. It's, uh, it's right there. That's the BB. I've put three lighter rounds in the barrel to see what, get a shotgun effect, maybe. Oh, ooh, that went through. I got it. So I think this side's in, and that side's out. And here's the core of the like shotgun shot that went all the way through. It hit a lower, so it didn't have to push through the seeds and stuff. That's probably why it went through. All right, we've got a, a heavy round versus just some wood. I don't know what kind of wood. Oh, look at that. It's embedded about uh, halfway into the wood. That's actually pretty good. I think I'm satisfied with that result for a, a plastic BB. All right, I'm gonna do some accuracy testing. So that's over there and I'll be like around here. Oh, I'm not too confident about that one. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, yeah, that's it. See, that's not too bad. I think that is my fault. It's bad aim. I'll try again. It's far the star. It's near the I know the Time for a classic, a soda. Oh my goodness, every time, every time I get sprayed. Actually, only put a hole in both sides of this, but it didn't come out. This one is, uh, is fine. No holes, it's still got liquid in it. For reference, here's what a $40 airsoft pistol does to the can. I think that's the, the entry dent. The exit, it just dented it. I mean, it went in, but only dented it, so maybe not as strong. And the wood. Just a dent, I mean, it's probably not too much less deep than this one, but it did not stick in. So it does look like the uh, accelerator is a little bit stronger than the airsoft pistol. That's cool. So the proper name for what this device is, is an electrothermal accelerator which sounds like a lot, but is pretty simple. It uses an electrical arc to heat up the gas in the blast chamber, this little area, 
So a lot of hot expanding gas and plasma in this chamber just pushes the projectile out of the barrel. That's mostly what there is to it. I use a barbecue igniter to create a spark, and then the capacitor bank discharges through the spark and creates the hot gas and plasma. So overall, this device is pretty similar to the most recent other one I made, the green one in the other video. But there are some important differences. One is it's triggered with just a barbecue piezo igniter instead of a whole high voltage circuit, which makes things a lot simpler and easier. It has a voltage monitor, which is very useful. It was gonna have a battery voltage monitor, but that broke and I don't have time to get another one. And it's also got a bleed resistor. So the charge in the capacitors will slowly leak out over the course of like 15 minutes, which is very helpful for safety. If it doesn't go off, I'll just wait. It'll go down to no charge and I can start working on it again. I've had to use that many times. It should be a bit more sturdy than the other one because it's built around these metal bars Although the bars aren't long enough, so it kind of droops at the end, which is unfortunate. I'll have to get bigger ones, I think. It's got a lot more larger capacitors, so it can store a lot more power. I'll put the exact number up on the screen. And one interesting change is actually something that a commenter suggested to me, and that is to use no metal in the barrel and projectile system. The projectiles are plastic, which is partially just so I can use BBs, which is convenient. But it also means there's no metal in this. Since metal is pretty conductive to heat, it probably sucks a lot of heat out of the plasma, which means there's less energy to go into expanding the plasma and pushing the projectile. Beyond the doubt.